now tutorial number nine loops we have two new things we're going to learn in this tutorial one is loops what they are and how they work and number two is uh, variables what a variable is now I only really get into variables in the next tutorial but I will touch on it very lightly here so if you don't understand variable variables completely right now don't freak out just follow the instructions okay and you'll see what I mean so we start off with creating a variable to create a variable we go down to variables and it says make a variable so let's make one and we're going to call that variable number so we give it a name it's called number now set a number to zero and we're going to take that block and just drag it here to start and we're going to change that to a one let me explain what we've just done a variable in programming is like a bucket that holds information or data it holds something that you put into it all right that's what a variable does so this in this instance we've created a variable a container a bucket called number and inside that bucket we've put the number one for now we've said that the value of number is one does that make sense I hope so the next tutorial I'll go through it a bit more okay so we've created a container it's called a variable it holds some information the data that we've put in there okay just work with me here now we go to input on button a pressed great and we're going to have this as a timer that counts upwards it just goes one two three four five six etc we're just gonna have a count upwards okay automatically when we press button a it's just gonna run and count upwards all on its own that's what a loop is for so the loops are here here's the green section loops we go to loops and we're gonna keep it easy plain and simple repeat four times perfect no problem repeat four times pop it in there right repeat four times do the following so what are we gonna do well we're first going to show a number okay and we are then going to say now what number are we going to show now because we have a variable called number and it has data we don't have to manually type this in four times because that would be silly so we're going to go back to variables there's our bucket our container our variable called number and pop it in there cool and so what it's doing is when I press button a now it will show the number one four times take a look press button a one two three four there we go we're not seeing a change because it's just the same number four times we haven't seen it loop yet because we haven't changed anything yet so we need to change this number by one every time that it loops we change the number by one so back to our variables change number by one there we go pop it in the bottom there okay now let's have a look and see what it does so press button a one two three four perfect and as you can see this is what's happened when my program started I said set the value of my variable called number to one all right to the number one so now my bucket my container of data called number is holding the value one does that make sense I hope so then we said right on button a pressed when we press button a on that micro bit I want you to do the following I want you to repeat four times this these commands first show me the number that is inside the number variable which at first would be number one it will show you the, the number then change that number by one in other words increment it just add another one onto it so it becomes two then it shows me number two and then it changes to three and then it shows me number three and then it changes to four do you see that and then it, it, it does that four times and that's what the loop and the variable do and this is probably one of the most powerful things that programmers use in their programs and if you can get your head around this you are on your way